my advice to younger generations is um, go out there. The world is big, the world is huge. I uh, started my education in the U.S. at Cornell University in 1986. It's one of those programs that can prepare you for a variety of disciplines, a variety of fields. It's something that I think uh, potential students should know about, that it's a, it's a very rich and very empowering educational system. Uh, you can just about do anything after an undergraduate degree, and uh, graduate programs are aware of this. You're immersed in the campus life, your social life uh, revolves around the university. Um, there are um, a lot of resources devoted to student life, a lot of opportunities for um, extracurricular activities within the university, whether that's athletics or, um, or arts. Uh, there are opportunities also for uh, students to travel abroad in the summers, internships. Frankly, my first experience uh, that was impressive the first day I was in the U.S. was the size of the trees, believe it or not. Cornell has a gorgeous campus. It's on top of a hill. Uh, it's between two deep and beautiful gorges. And for somebody who comes from an island like Cyprus where water is so precious, I was really quite impressed by the beauty of the landscape. It is still, despite the news that we may be hearing today, a country that is very friendly and easy to enter as a foreigner. The U.S. is probably still the country that tolerates the most accents. People are accustomed to it, their neighbors maybe have an accent. That cultural diversity of the U.S. has been uh, one of the most cherished features. I always say I'm leaving home, going home. I'm leaving this home, I'm going to that home. Um, it's not simply that I went to the U.S. I'm saying this that I'm, I moved a little bit because I am really talking about who I am now. I think it's the opportunity to live in another country and encounter it on its own terms. been really blessed by this opportunity.